All right. So next, uh, brother Rod, we have Kimberly. Kimberly, yeah, Kimberly Cornia. Hi, sorry, I forgot. I had to unmute. You can hear me. Mm -hmm, I can hear you. Hi, uh, I um, I live in New Hampshire. Um, thank you so much for doing this. Um, so you alluded to you know the health system and how it's been changed so much, um, and. I've been st studying holistic health for like 25 years. It's just been a passion of mine. Um, so, and there's so much confusion in that arena itself. So how do we know what the true health information is? Where do we look for that? Well, there's a cer there's certain ones that, like for instance, the basics of the body tell you where to look. Um, body runs off vitamins and minerals and you get the vitamin and the minerals that it run off of from food source. So then you find what food sources have the best vitamins and minerals. This is looking at it from a herbalist perspective. What herbs facilitate this function in the body? You don't, you can go herb for herb until you have a catalog and you know what they all do. And then it'll automatically tell you what other ones do by comparative analysis, by color analysis, by shape of fruit. Um, all of those different things have different functions. So you can um, look into Ayurvedic, you can look into naturopathic, um, holio, uh, holistic, but whatever you look into, you got to start with the basics. And the basics is the body runs off vitamins and minerals um, that builds up the amino acids. You can use amino acids to facilitate healing because it'll patch up the uh, broken parts of the DNA that's made up of amino acids. So when you start doing this, you start looking at it from a micro uh, perspective and moving out into the whole organism from the smallest to, the, so you're looking at it from microcosm, macrocosm. So you write your own curriculum. You don't be committed to one because if you do that, then you're gonna be blinded by the opinions of others you look for what work and wherever you find it holistically and you apply it where you can holistically but the holistic approach is to find homeostasis in the body okay all right thank you so much you're welcome thank you kimberly next we have jerry lee 007 Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you now. Darn it. <laughs> Not muted. Hello? Can you hear yep, me? I can hear you. I can okay. hear you. Um, so my question is, um, I saw my mother pass when I was seven, really, really young. And I've seen people who's passed in my dreams a lot. But um, after my mother passed, she came and visited me. But she had like two men with like that look like the men in black movie with her like guarding mm -hmm. her and um I was just wondering if you had any insight on that because like within a year of her passing I seen her after she passed in my dream I had um <clears throat> I say it's my spiritual awakening where I astral projected and I were going out into space but because my mother was a Jehovah Witness all of that terrified me I would have dreams afterwards. Um, well, I would have dreams before, which would be like night terrors, where I would be mm -hmm. like the walking dead, things chasing me. And like my state of mind and peace now is perfect and I'm pretty good, but I'm just like, I wonder what all of that meant. You know, depending on what's going on in your in your external world. So that's something that you have to have like a Q&A consult consultation to take like 30 to 40 minutes to dig deep but from just from a surface view um you you have the talent but you're scared to use it because of the indoctrination of the jehovah's witnesses their indoctrination is designed to make you not want to use it the same as any other denomination of the church the mormons the catholics they all want you to they want the power and you are the source they just don't want you to be aware of that 
I'm going to tell you, you the source of the power in those like you. And it don't matter what skin complexion you but, is. Imagine how your heart vibrates. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find all of the good people trapped in the church because they believe with their heart they're doing good, but they're being misled. Yeah, from, um, from a young age, the, the church just never felt right. So I was always separate from it. But there was the indoctrination, like you said, from my mom. It's like never knowing. But um, okay, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry. And uh, hey, quick story about she talked about the church didn't sit right where I'm gonna yeah. tell you a quick story about right. I was six years old. We was in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We was going to uh, Bap uh, Baptist Church, uh, oh, Bethel Pentecostal Church in Grand Rapids, right? And Pastor Abney was the preacher, and he was preaching this sermon about Jesus and um, being born in a manger and all this. And I turned to my mom. I said, Mom, why that man up there laugh, lying? And she popped me, pop, don't you be up here saying that up in church? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, was a, oh, oh, that was a good one so uh uh brother uh, rod uh, allow me to share this quickly so you didn't mention you know do not get trapped or you know do not get trapped with the color thing because uh you know uh, we could go back several thousand years uh indigenous people didn't look like this you know what i'm saying I, I can tell for my recalls and and if you had uh, probably the chance of getting in touch where your omnipresence, you know, in different source systems, you'll see that you look differently. So uh, we take on we take on we take on all shades and skin complexions and hair textures on Earth, right? This is in the DNA. You had two nappy haired black people that can have a straight haired black baby, right? But everybody in that here is not going to do that. It's not normal, but it can happen. Just like you can have two pitch black parents and have albino. It's in the DNA. Right? So I was telling her about the, the, the uh, 12 daughters of, um, of ISIS, each being of a different skin tone, but they are in the DNA. Right? So when we tribe up, we tribe up. We don't tribe up according to your skin color. That's the tool of divide and conquer they use against us. We tribe up according to who vibrate on heart frequency. Right? Because we don't, they don't love like we love. That's going to tell on them every time. You know, they don't have the same kind of love for each other we got for each other. Like me and you might fall out today, have a full badge fist fight, and tomorrow we'd be sitting there eating something. But then we'd be going back and forth for 40 years. Because they don't have no get right in them. We got get right in us. You know, so when they can't get right, and we trying to we trying to do right, they here they come back for some more BS 20 years later. I left that in the past, man. I, I don't carry that with me. You know, yeah. and that's why forgiveness and gratitude is two of the most powerful and compelling forces in the universe. Because you really telling the person when you forgive them that you're not allowing that bullshit they brought and heaped up on your plate to remain on your plate you can have it back i don't want it you forego what they gave you you forgave them that means you rejected the bullshit and you kept what was for your highest good and gratitude this is what they say when they say love your enemy they don't, no they don't mean love your enemy like that motherfucker i mean appreciate the lesson you got from fucking with that motherfucker because the greater your enemy is, the greater you got to be to overcome it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, steel sharp and steel. Thank you, Dr. Rod. Uh, next, uh, Jay Belong, uh, just like a pause, we're going to allow the other people to ask some questions. So we have Demetria Johnson. right there so you might want to uh okay here i am yeah. how you uh, doing good. thank you for taking my question i just have one question um i went to go have surgery last year and mm -hmm. i was afraid to have the surgery and right before the surgery i had a dream and in the dream it was the guy that set me 
came across my shoulder and stood in front of me. And when she stood in front of me, I, I made me a, a bracelet with her colors on it. And when I made a bracelet, I went to the hospital, I had the bracelet on in the hospital. Long story short, I wasn't supposed to wake up out of that surgery. I was there laying there, laying there with no response for three days, three nights. And would that be her, that was her really coming to protect me from what was going on or? Okay, so the, the, the whole Christ story of three days in the tomb comes from an ancient ritual of healing. Okay. Where they would give you a concoction of herbs that would literally put you in a coma for three days, but it would actually heal the entire body. Okay. But you're not really dead. Okay. It was right. crazy. So, so this the same as what you was going through in the hospital because your genetic memory kicked in and when you was in that near death crisis state and with the energy of drawing from Sekhmet. Sekhmet mm -hmm. is the warrior spirit of the goddess. Okay. And you, you did you have children at the time? I I had I had four but three, three of them alive. Okay, because that's what tied you back to, because Sekhmet is the woman that stays to defend her children against whatever the opposition is. Yeah. That's full Sekhmet rage. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, and that's what you needed to carry you through that time. You didn't know it consciously, but you know yeah. everything already because it's in your DNA. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you decided that since, you, since they think you're going to die, you might as well call on your ancestors and, and segment showed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cause I was where I was wondering about that. Um, mm. It was kind of scary cause it scared my kids. And um, it's just so much stuff like that has been happening to me in my mm. life. My grandmother was, my great grandmother was a, um, the person that everybody would come to, to have their they work done. So I was saying maybe that was a part of her too. Well, she probably preloaded you to know what to do in crisis situation by off the cuff remarks that you didn't mm -hmm. pay any attention to at the time. Okay. Okay. Right. So when yeah. they say off the cuff remark, that's something that's coming from the heart because they say you wear your heart on your sleeve. Yeah. And I the do. Off the, so the off the cuff remark flips to you on the grandmother in passing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if she going to say something, you don't know what she said. It didn't mean that until you right then. But later on in life, when it comes time for you to use it, she can already loaded you up. Okay. Okay. She can put the bullets in the pistol for you just so in case you <laughs> had to shoot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dimitria. Yeah, so well, next. Thank you. All right. Next, we have uh, Tiama. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing right. Hi, it's actually Tia, M-A, my last name. Um, I'm Tia, and this is Miss Ernestine. We just, we're just introducing ourselves and saying how grateful we are for Mr. Rod. And we're from Atlanta, yes. Georgia. So we're just saying hello. And um, <coughs> we, um, we notice when we watch your videos, Mr. Rod, also, we noticed the sun blinking over your head mm -hmm. and I can see your, your aura also. And um, I'm just letting you know that I noticed it. <laughs> and so, no. it's, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm wondering if you knew, but. Well, I, when you see it, it's, you, you give me a, a certain sign with your eyes and I know you've seen it. I don't even, you don't even have to tell me. Wow. Okay. Hey. That's what's up. <laughs> and also, um, I'm just appreciating what you said uh, to the brother about um, nationality. Yeah, that's some garbage. I, I never could get it done. I started the process and I never could get it done, never could get it finished. Something mean you just wouldn't let you do it, would it? Nope. Nope. Okay. You from nope. this land, you don't need no nationality. You exactly. indigenous. Exactly. They got to go. They yeah. gotta go. So you you don't have to. I don't have to prove to you who I am. I am. I am who I am. <laughs> uh, and there you go. That's what it said in the book. When they ask yeah. you, who, when they ask you who sent you, right? <laughs> what you tell them? It's, I am. I am. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yep. We appreciate so, you. Yeah, they can't make you be something you ain't. Exactly. 
do all the paperwork in the world can't change what's inside you. What's inside you is greater than all the paperwork compiled on top of each other. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Thank you, King. Thank you, Tia. My sister down there in Atlanta with you. Yep. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us we, we're all family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Tia. Thank and you. Brother Rod, can I add something uh, regarding this? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, if we, if someone, you know what I'm saying, is looking on it about the national, because, you know, I, I, I won't lie. I did my stuff. Yes, it worked, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it wasn't the most important stuff, you know what I'm saying? So the most important stuff was for me, birthright to link with uh, my anchor points where I'm at still today, you know what I'm saying? So Sirius, Liga, name it, you know what I'm saying? And was to, because uh, everything that you know here, you knew it before coming here. So uh, the thing is, you know, with Warriors doing the work for the people uh, on this, I'm going to say high density, you know what I'm saying? May not use use all the same tools, but I'll, I'll agree upon, you know, the uh, divine essence, you know what I'm saying, for the, uh, I'm going to call it interplanetary battle, so. Uh, I just wanted to state that little thing, Rod, just in case that some people are saying, eh, he's doing it, but like he gets along with Rod, but Rod doesn't, you know, uh, doesn't go along with this. So right, so okay. Let's so let's 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 get into that part of the nationality where, like, brother, like you that deal with the, okay, when you came into the science, you came into the more science, right? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> well, how did you come about deciding you needed a nationality card? Was only, I did it not to, I did it, do it for just to sit there and boom. I did it only to retrieve actually my, uh, my recalls while I was here before, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, now experience. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. When your nationality card, when is when they violate your national rights and the, the card that you carry, who enforces that card? What law, what nexus of law governs the nationality card? Say that again, bro. What nexus of law governs the nationality card in the sovereign right that it implies according to the doctrine in other words who enforces that shit conquistador okay so where they at they're still here okay now yeah. if the conquistadors is the ones who enforce it they the same ones who enforced the blood contract called the Constitution. The only way to overthrow them is to identify your sovereign origin to the soil that precedes any paperwork they brought over here. Which is for the people who solely are, you know, uh, sorry, <clears throat> who sanguine, right of the blood, yeah. Right. So now, sovereign right of the land is tied to the people of the land. The people of the land precede any nationality. Of course. Because okay. nationality deals only with who's solely, right of the soul through empires. No, 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 no. The, the, it, nationality is governed under contract law. It's not governed under what we call God's law. That's the superior law. That's the law that we use in to overthrow the contract. We're not using contract law because you, a house divided among the South can't stand. You can't use their law to validate your claim that their law don't apply to you. You use what we call a grandfather clause, a prior law. So I'm not coming in under national status. I'm not coming in under indigenous status. I'm coming in under sovereign God right. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm 
from the position of Galactic Seat 50 of the Galactic Council imposed by trial and error, by verification of rank by status and degree of erudition, which is training, and blood right, which is birthright to the land. Right, so I don't need no paper to validate that because I get first validated spiritually under the laws of my. Once I get validated spiritually, I then begin to balance the ones around me using the same principle that precedes the nationality doctrine. Totally, right yeah. now, the, <clears throat> the conquistadors is the ones who was cheating to hold on to the contract of the blood oath. They the same ones that murdered Crispus Atticus to write the blood oath in the Masonic Lodge in that DC. The contract is, is written, it's in the uh, Washington Masonic Memorial in DC where they concealed the flag of the bays in the cornerstone. But they had to wait for the capstone, which is the keystone. And the keystone will be held by the one that the builders rejected has to first become the chief cornerstone. Right? So now after being the most loved and respected out of the most despised and rejected, he rises to the top. Right? So this is this how you know it's the King Arthur story. He got to be worthy to pull the sword from the stone. And the only way that you could determine his worth is by putting him to the test. Right? So then when I identify who the war was against, the feathers and the fences, the bays and the elves, what was the rules to the game? Everywhere we had a bay, they was trying to put an L there. And everywhere we had a, they had an L, we was trying to put a bay there in order to sway the balance of power. And to somebody that can shoot for the throne. This is what Drew Ali was the first one. He went for the throne and they beat him to death. <coughs> but where did he get the where did he get the, the keys? He went into New Jersey into a group that was known as the Moorish Zionist Temple. The Moorish Zionist Temple was the ones who was conquistadors. They are the authors of what we know today as the protocols of the wise men of Zion, the hidden hand behind the Jewish uh, Anti-Defamation League and the Jewish Defense League as they paramilitary assassination branch. So the story plays out in the public with the Tupac case because Tupac is the next in line to take the test. So they tried to kill him. So what did he say? I never expected there to be nobody that looked like me to come for me. I'm the one riding for us. Right? So now he's telling me, look, man, I'm pulling the plug on this shit. These motherfuckers are serious. And they look just like us. But they ain't us. So then he gave you clues of how to discover who they is. Watch they women. Elijah Muhammad said the last trick of the devil would be to freely give you his woman. But she don't look like them. She look like us. That shit won't work on me. Because she gonna pour her heart out and it's not gonna be what's in our heart. Her heart comes out with restrictions and conditions. Our heart come out with pure love. That's the difference. I'm not gonna fake it with you. I'm gonna tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. I'm gonna tell you how to upgrade every time. I'm going to tell you how to beat this motherfucker everywhere you stand. You don't have to believe me and you can lose at your own, but I'm not losing. So now we face with the nationality card situation and one guy asked me, well, how can you uphold noble Drew Ali and still profess, you know, that the nationality cards are some garbage? I said, look, man, noble Drew Ali said it out his own mouth. The only thing that would surprise me if I could find a more that'll do right. Say that again, bro. The only thing that would surprise me 
if I can find a more that'll do right. Mm -hmm. He ain't talking about us. He talking about somebody that ain't us. Because we can always stand in the position to write and tell the truth. Because our mothers teach us that that's the only way to always win. No matter how it comes out, stand in the position to write and tell the truth. Exactly. Truth is so true. he ain't talking about us. And then I, what happened right before the fall, right before the death? Of, all of a sudden, some dudes popped up with Fez's on, looking just like Moore's. Talking about they had the right to the temple. So now you got our love, Ill and Amelia fighting. Right? And didn't know what you at least they get a good Moorish education. So you study all of this shit. You don't take sides, you just figure out the problem. So they come in and they try to reclaim the throne. They didn't, they can't take the throne, but they can stop a motherfucker from sitting on it by killing him. So they block the throne, but they can't stop you from sitting on it if you were. They can't stop me. They can't stop Larry. This our shit. We was already here. And every time they think they win, they lost. Because all they did was just give us another way to come around and address the problem from a different angle. You can't always mm -hmm. address everything straightforward here and on. You have to sometimes drop seeds along the way for somebody to put the puzzle together. Like, I don't knock some of us. We were supposed to take them over. You were supposed to go in and, and master their shit and take it over. That was part of the war. That's why we needed a bay everywhere they had an L. We don't take it personal because you become, you fall in under the uh, redemption process. <clears throat> when we take over and we expunge the contracts, there's no more contracts then you don't need that nationality card no more. So now we can get away with get away from the central bank and we can go back to what we call tribal banks or family banks. We control our own money in our own family and our own family business. Which, which was the original essence. Yeah, that's how we used to do business before they came over here with their 13 tribes or their 13 banks is what they came over here with. There's 12 central banks around the country, and the one in D.C. was number 13, which was your tribes of Israel that they imposed up on the land. But they used the biblical story to make you think that it was anything other than a financial institution. That's how they became what you call Yaqub's grafted devil. Yaqub being the undermined. The grafted devil was the cat's paw. The one that ain't really doing the dirt, but the one that he's pointing the finger at to make you think he's doing the dirt. We fell for it hook, line, and sinker. I didn't. Because I deal with people how they deal with me. Which gave me a whole different angle and perspective of looking at the problem. Because everybody wasn't good to me. And everybody wasn't bad to me. Sometimes I had to fuck people up. Sometimes I was able to avoid it. But no matter what, I tried to make sure I was right in every situation. So at that point, they can't win. Because even if it looked like I lost, I learned the lesson that I'm going to take with me into the next fight. This is how generals master warfare. <clears throat> they just was fighting with a conjure war. With the game of the gods. It's an old chess game. Galactic chess, fifth dimensional chess board. Yep. And you did you, did, you didn't mention it last time. Exactly. Yeah. This all go all the way back to Egypt. It's in the hieroglyphics. I'm the only motherfucker they didn't ever want to play. They didn't think that they would ever produce me. I'm the product of pure conjure. Or what uh, Elijah would say from years and years of mothers praying for somebody to fix this shit. One of us brain was going to have to be wired to fix the problem. It's too many of us prayed that it get fixed. And as my mama say, and as my sister Christina Vargas say, 
the word don't come back void. It's just that you got to have the right people in the right place. You got to do your part on the physical in order to see the spiritual work that's being done manifest here. That's the secret they don't give you in the secret. Word, true. So that's the difference. And that's how me and you can still talk about this. You don't take it personal because you kind of understand it on a different level and knew that you had to feel that void for us to have us a, a person in that spot or they was going to put somebody there. Exactly. For the simple fact, bro, uh, <clears throat> you know, every warriors, you know what I'm saying, with the Earth mission, uh, with their proper vibrational frequencies, you know what I'm saying, especially from the art. Uh, you may not use the same tools whatsoever, but there's a deep inner, I'm going to call it essence, or divine essence to the, uh, to the battles, you know what I'm saying, so yeah. That's, what, that's why truth is truth is truth. You know what I'm saying? So that's real talk. Uh, I'm going to say it from my elder on this plane. You know what I'm saying? So Morpheus, Mysticus, <laughs> Ma Magus. You know what I'm saying? So uh, real talk, bro. So gratitude, you know what I'm saying, for this uh, real talk and exchange. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, brother. And it's good that we was able to, to get that last part out because they looking no at doubt. like they looking at how the hell is this? <laughs> but we had to we had to fill every spot, man. We, no we doubt, had man. to do it. We had to do we had to do. We was at war. Yeah. And no every doubt. brother ain't a brother because it's color. Oh, and especially, man. So uh you you mentioned earlier, you know, the uh, so-called Re Asian revolution. Don't think mm. it was so-called black versus white people, man. People that look like Rod and I, you know what I'm saying, fighting on both sides of the fences. Yes, sir. That's what it is. Yeah. Because, see, we was the confederated tribes of the Iroquois nations mm -hmm. that they call the Confederates of the South. And they was the invaders from the North, the Red Coats. You know, the British invasion. Played out in the music is the British invasion of the Beatles. So they tell the story because all of the music over here stems from the blues. So when the blues go out, it got to come back. And then B.B. King asks, you want to know why I sing the blues? <laughs> and I really didn't pay my dues. Right? So I could sit here and howl at the moon like Howling Wolf and tell the truth. And then these motherfuckers know, oh, shit. This ain't no regular Negro right here. Who is this motherfucker and where he come from? Mm -hmm. I've been in the monastery. I've been being a family man. I've been a convict. I've been a hustler, pimp, drug dealer, all that shit. That's where I've been. But now I took all that shit, packed it up in the box and said, this is how we going to get free. Use it all. The good and the bad, the right and the wrong, the top and the bottom the in and the out, put it all together. We're going to use it all to get free. Once, once I get it back to us, there ain't nothing they can do to stop us after that. I done gave it back. All we need now is three kings on the land. And we got three, we got, we got 72 hours on the turnaround. This is the, the um, event that they was waiting on today, <clears throat> according to the spread that the sister gave. They was waiting on the sign. This is the sign. Set this motherfucking shit off. I'm going to pull the trigger every goddamn time. First time, one shot, one motherfucking kill. Code of a sniper. Motherfucking Nighthawk sniper popping that ass in the dark. You will not get away this time. Everywhere they at, we know where they at. They all accounted for. Every mm -hmm. one of these motherfuckers got to go. So. They, they got now they got a means to genetically locate them or frequency locate them or some shit. They got the scanner. They can scan them and know that oh, these motherfuckers don't belong here. You can't stay on earth, buddy. You can't die here because you can't come back here. 
they can go colonize something else. They got they can't stay here. Not doing what they was doing to our babies. <clears throat> it's a done deal. It's a wrap. It's over. Exactly. And you know, when you're saying like they've been done to our babies, man, uh if probably a lot of y'all might remember what was happening in the 80s, you know, I'm saying near uh Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So whenever those babies were being kidnapped, you know what I'm saying? Uh whenever you couldn't find them on the surface because you know. They put them directly uh put them yeah in i just talked about that the atlanta child killings yeah they got that brother sitting in there like he a real t child killer then first of all nobody they convicted him of was one child that's what nobody don't realize they convicted them of killing some adults that's the first thing but they accused him of being the atlanta child killer but the child killings never stopped when he went to prison during the time he was locked up they were still pop bodies were still popping up They were still killing motherfuckers. They were still laying their hand down, doing their dirt. It didn't stop. You know, I used to have people used to send me the articles when I was locked up. And that was in the late 90s going into the 2000s. They were still sending me articles of kids' bodies washing up with the same MO. Hmm. And I used to just shake my head and like, it ain't nothing I can do. From where I'm at right now, I got to get to a different position in the game in order to change things. You know, now we're right in on. the position to change something. And the only thing we require now is for us to collectively say enough is enough with the bullshit, it's over. That's it. And we didn't reach critical mass on that. Mm -hmm. Next yeah. to shock and awe. The shock and awe is a sudden awareness. They call it a great tower moment. Right, so this is based on Libra right now. And Libra is justice going into Scorpio. When it run into Scorpio, that's my domain. Right? So the Libra gonna balance this shit out. We gonna get some justice around here. Because at the close of the age, this shit gotta be met on time with time. And here it is. It's playing out in real time. Motherfucking watch from the weather anomalies that's oracles and telling you what's going on to the frequencies and the vibration, these people is not playing on earth or in the sky. So whichever ones you looking at, because I don't really deal with the people in the stars because I'm on earth. I need to deal with earth issues and let everybody else deal with the star issues because I ain't got time for that while I'm solving earth issues. It don't mean I don't study it, but I don't system be spreading that shit around if I don't have to. Now I have to because they here. And they not bullshit. Mm -hmm. But they didn't already made these motherfuckers agree. So they didn't agree to produce the kings. They didn't produce them. They in meetings right now in Chicago. You know, trying to get this prep, get prepared to meet the public. So it is what it is. We're going to see three kings walk the land. That's right. So real talks here from... Morpheus, you know what I'm saying? Mysticus Magus. Uh, brother, um, there are some people still like in the chat. Would you be able to take some of your questions or time's up? Uh, let's, let's take three more questions and then we wrap it up. Three, right? <clears throat> yeah. All right, so. Or three more callers, I should say, because someone will be having two questions. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So apologies for uh, the ones that won't be able to uh you know come on the uh come on the, on the mic and ask a question to rod so we're gonna go with la prince two word first second joel and after this d risha so first of all the prince stewart hi kings good afternoon hey, queens um i'm gonna be real quick i just wanted to know um from the time i was born when I was born. I was born real sick, uh, you know, real sick. But mm -hmm. um, I was born with uh, they say well something called a veil over my yeah. eye. Yeah. And from there, I was able to see things, hear yeah. things, and um. But it was always this woman voice always was there whispering in my ears. She's uh, the voice always come when I'm in fear 
or or something about to happen or whatever. I don't know anything about it. She she always whispered, telling me what what to do. Is she a ancestor from the other side? Uh, who I mean, who is she? What's your birth sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. And one, and, yeah, and one more thing. My mom used to allow some lady used to take me in the woods with other women. They were all dressed in white. Um, were I being initiated in something? Uh, you okay. were in the daughters of Isis. That was the actual voice of Isis herself. You'd be hearing telling you in times of trouble what to do because she know that of your own, you will, might get confused. So to keep you from getting confused, she come through loud and clear. Mm-hmm. Right? So she's going to give you the right information 99.99999% of the time. Mm-hmm. Right? So when she tell you what to do, then it, it snaps you. Once you get older, you become so used to it that she can whisper to you and it won't interrupt what you're doing and you can still hear the voice and know which way to move. The mm -hmm. veil, my sister was born with the same veil. It's called the veil of Isis. This is how you know they was born to be a priestess of Isis. Oh, my God. Because my daddy used to tell me that I was a witch. And then he said I was a good witch. And I didn't, I, re I rejected so that because that, I'm like. The word witch mean wise woman. A wise woman. Oh. They villainized the term with the sailor witch hunts to kill women like you to keep you from being able to pass the knowledge on to your daughter. Because when you pass it on, it get 10 times stronger than it was when you had it. Wow. Every, 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 like, so if three sisters like you pass it to one girl, you make her become what you call a superconductor Tesla coil. So, yes, every time you pass. So they want to stop that because then when they, when they initiate the boys sexually with that level of energy they can then wake the divine masculine all the way up to protect the women properly without abusing the children okay thank you so much mm -hmm. um it, okay so she okay isis okay thank you thank you so much Ro. yeah <laughs> it great seeing you too uh, uh, again because i haven't seen you since or talked to you since facebook yeah <laughs> right okay thank right. you i'll talk to you later okay all right thank you la prince uh next joel hi greetings taino and brother rod hey how you doing i'm good and you good well i have it's the main reason i asked um i raised my hand is because of my mom so mm -hmm. my mom is she gets scared of a lot of things but recently when she's sleeping she gets woken up in the middle of the night and she says what wakes her up is she sees a dog or a cat at the foot of her bed like mm -hmm. either on her recline because right at the bottom at the foot of her bed there's her recliner chair so they'll be on the chair or what wakes her up is they start crawling in her bed and that scares her and then she's like get out of my bed get out of my bed so the cat will jump onto the windowsill and I don't know where the dog goes, but she's like, I'm not crazy. And I tell her, I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> to me, they seem like guardians, like they're protecting you. But I just wanted okay, your so take on that. That's what uh, that's called a familiar spirit, the spirit mm -hmm. of familiar. So sometime in her life as a child, she was attached to a dog and a cat. OK, it didn't have to be this lifetime either. Okay. But anyway, wherever she go that those become her familiars in real life she'll end up the dog can incarnate in the different lives and the cat can too okay. the dog can jump bodies as her familiar because wherever she go it, it's her totem animal okay. in real life but it jumped from the spirit world to the physical world it serves as her protection from spiritual entities and when they come in the physical form people that come with bad energies they won't let them come around her okay. so like right now she get a puppy and a kitten she'll stop seeing them within the week okay so okay i i will let her know because i told her it, it felt to me like protection so mm -hmm. i told her just just tell them just to not get on your bed and you'll be right. okay so the cat, the cat is her eyes in the spirit realm. It's to see into the dark. 
Okay. If she tapped into that energy, if she become friends with him, she can use that energy to enhance her psychic ability. The dog is her guardian. Dog is mm -hmm. her companion and her guardian to give her comfort when she's in stress. So the mm -hmm. more stress she is under, the closer the dog need to be to her. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll let if her she know. want them to, like right now, they jumping on her in the spirit. I mean, they're trying to get into the physical realm. Now the veil is thin mm -hmm. between the spirit world and the physical world. Mm -hmm. So they can communicate what they're trying to tell her. They want to come from the spirit into the physical because mm -hmm. they feel like they can do more for her comfort and protection here. The cat want to be her, you know, spirit eyes in the physical world and the dog want to be her guardian in the physical world. Okay. So I that's will all they're just trying to let her know. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. I'll let her know. And just one thing for me, I've noticed that like being in the dark doesn't bother me. Like I will do everything mm. in the dark, but I've noticed when I'm in the dark and I just close my eyes and it can be daytime or whatever. If I close my eyes, I see star constellations, star, sorry, star constellations. Mm. Like at first it was just seven stars and then it clicked in my head, the seven sisters. But yep. I was like, I'm like, why am I seeing it now? I know the veil is thin, but is, am I attached that way? Because I keep seeing, at first it was the birthday? same constellation, February 28th. You're Pisces. Pisces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your spiritual senses is enhanced by being a water sign right now in Aquarius. The Aquarius had what you call a rupture in the jug of Aquarius, which enhanced this amount of spiritual energy that would flood the earth. Mm-hmm. Right. And then we had a whole bunch of rains when that happened for about a month off and on every couple of days because of that Aquarian water at the Aquarian age. Mm -hmm. The perfect environment for a Pisces, as long as you don't have fear. Yeah. Right. So now you just have to orient to your spirit vision, which is your ability to see underwater. The practice okay. for that is to look at fish tanks, actually. Really? Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That, that's that's the practice for learning uh, for a Pisces to learn how to use a spirit vision is to look at the fish tank. Look in the fish tank. It's training. Okay. Okay. I'll look into that. I haven't mm -hmm. had a fish in a while, so I might have to get one again. Yeah. Even if you don't get one, you could take a day out the week and go to the uh, stores that got fish and look at the fish swimming. And just watch them for a little while until you feel like you got your feel and you're good for the next week. Okay. Okay. You can feel it. Once yeah. you start doing it, you're going to be able to feel it. And then you're going to know. And then your subconscious mind is going to start feeding what you're doing to the conscious mind. Because okay. you can't keep doing something successfully and not figure out what you're doing. Okay. But you're going to okay. feel it first. You're going to know how long to stay, which tank to stop at, what fish to watch. Then you're going to learn how to read the fish while they're swimming. Don't. This, I mean, that it's going to be a truck deliver $50,000 to the bank over there. You're going to know, whatever it means. Because okay. it's going to tune, fine-tune your intuition mm -hmm. as the Pisces in the age of Aquarius to help you acclimate to the spiritual um, differences becoming closer in relation. Okay. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Joel. Um, so we're going to go with Darisha. Darisha, before you go, so. I One question wanna... in the comments. I yeah. Did, cause it's, it's like it's repeated. Any, <laughs> any water sign, like for instance, your spirit vision as a water sign, you're a water bender. And anything you do to enhance your vision using the aid of water, right? So that's Scorpio is, is water in its fixed state. Pisces is water in its liquid state. And Cancer is water in its gaseous state, right? So these are the three states to water. And so now when you understand that, in its liquid state, they see underwater. Uh, the cancer need to think underwater without panicking. 
So they practice by holding their breath in the bathtub underwater and then count to 10. It's just a practice. Then they come back up, they're good. They can do it a couple of times. And what it's doing is it's teaching you to acclimate your mind underwater to being under spirit control. <coughs> it's for the Scorpio. A Scorpio is a desert animal, but it's water in a fixed state. Right? So it needs the heat of the summertime in order to help it enhance its spirit senses. But a full blown Scorpio becomes the Phoenix in its highest aspect. Ain't that something? Yeah, and well said, Morpheus. And uh, we're gonna. So, yeah, go ahead, bro. Yep. Yeah. Virgo and Capricorn, I think, and Sag, I think, Earth signs. Earth signs, anything dealing with the Earth. Um, women that's Earth signs that get mud masks enhance their spirit senses by tuning in to the frequency of the Earth. You get mud masks and mud um, washed on your hands and feet as a spa treatment. Those, they also are tuning you in to your natural element, right? Then you have what you call solid earth. <coughs> this is the rock in the compacted earth. Walk on it, barefoot it. You know, let your energy exchange with it, right? In, in the air signs, Air signs would use fans to, to air bend. You know, you get used to the feel and the flow of the uh, air, right? Air symbolizes thought. So as you get used to being assaulted by the air and then now you are being assaulted by thought, which is higher thought, which is wisdom. So the air sign began to assimilate the fans in the room at different angles to allow them to catch the energy of thought waves at different angles. It's practice. Everything around us is practice for some spiritual function. But those are just some of the stuff to help. And for the fire signs, standing around um, a fire pit. Remember the guys used to stand around the fire drums and tell um, stories in the hood when, when we was little? They used to stand out in the oak vacant lot with a barrel burning fire. But anyway, we used to see it a lot in Chicago and uh, around the Detroit area in the winter. But anyway, those barrels, you can actually use that to practice fire bending with a, as a fire element. And just know that your hands can be used like a conductor. Your right, if you're right-handed, is projector. If, and your left hand is magnetic. If you left handed, it's exactly the opposite. And when you realize that, then you can start to look at the fire. You can, um, candles, candles are good because they're good to focus the fire bending technique of the mind, right? That's called harnessing the dragon within. It's a root chakra exercise. Thank you, Morpheus. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go for, as you requested, last one questions. Before mm -hmm. doing so, I do wanna send my apologies to the individuals. Uh, I did not expect to have more, you know, more than hundred people coming in. So a uh, few people will not be able to join in. And Victorious, J. Belong, Morris, Angelite, Galaxy Note 8, OnePlus 8, Tierra, J, G, J, and Carlita, so apologies in advance. Uh, we won't be able, or Dr. Rod won't be able to take your question. So we're gonna How go. many of them did you name? Nine. They was originals on the video? They were there, yeah. Okay, we got it. They got to get that with me. Okay, I got to answer this other question and then we gonna deal with them one by one because you got a list already. Yeah, so we might go in a express mode if you don't mind, bro. All right, so Derisha, please go ahead. So uh, people probably limit only to one question, so we're gonna go 
expressly. So, Dirisha, you may go ahead. Hi, uh, I'm from Michigan. Um, I had sent you a message about um, when when I hear my angels like knock, and you went you went mute. I couldn't find um, the book that you were talking about um, when I said, when I hear my angels like knock Mm -hmm. and I was trying to look for, um, like look more into it. Like how can I really like, you know, communicate with them? Well, if you know Morse code, they know Morse code already. Okay. Right. So you can learn Morse code and when you hear them knock, you can answer. That's (laughs) one. (laughs) Right. But you can answer using it in your head psychically so okay. morse code is one way um the other thing that you study uh is called uh it's spiritualist from the early 1900s um just studying them you're going to run across a lot of references to what they called rapping and tapping or table tapping you can look table tapping up and they used to call it that too but it's this is what it is and it's infused into the music as the drum beat in modern rap music. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Dirisha. So next, Victorious. <clears throat> hey, how y'all hey. doing? Good. How you doing, sweetie? All right. Um, I just wanted uh, your thoughts on this uh, vision. Um, I was in a field of flowers, and there was this woman with um, uh, white clothes, like in a white skirt with a headdress. Um, she was a very, very, very dark skin, like very, uh, like almost like obsidian, but very dark. And then um, I turned and st- back into a little girl and then she danced with me and then I was surrounded in a circle with uh other women with white clothes and headdress so what's your thoughts on that that's just so that's the soul tribe so the 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 lady that you've seen we call her the great mother and she's always accompanied by other women they all come with her that's big mama Right. We all got one in our family and she was dancing with you and you reverted back to a little girl shows a a shift in your perception of her rank. So in relation to her, your soul is new. You a little girl in comparison. That's how old she is. But your soul could be thousands of years old, but just in comparison to hers. And she was dancing, which was a celebration. What color were the flowers? Um, I can't remember all the colors, but I know some were pink and white, yellow. Yeah. So, colors. yeah. So th- this is the it's an initiation ceremony on the spirit side. And those different flowers all mean different things according to their color and what kind of flower it is, which means that you could further fine tune what I'm saying by looking through flower books, picking the flower, finding out the spiritual meaning of the flower, then adding it to what I already told you and what feel right to you. And then it will explain itself to you even clearer. But her dancing with you, that's you, you dancing with the cosmic divine is what it's called. The great mother. Thank you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Victorious. We're going to go next uh, again with uh, Jay Belong. Oh, thank you for another chance. Um, I just wanted to get some more clarification, I got, I guess, on uh, when um, it was said that we would get ready for the three kings to walk the earth and get ready for ascension. Ascension is mental. It's mental and spiritual more than it is physical. 
right? Your spirit body can make your physical body Benjamin Button to your perfect health. But that's based on mitochondrial conversion at a DNA level. Because all spirit energy come in the physical body through the aid of the mitochondrial that the woman control. Now, when you have your ascension, your DNA will be able to facilitate the whole expression of the mitochondria. And this is what they call uh, being fully realized, Christ conscious. Right. And the healthier you are mentally, spiritually, and physically, the faster it happens. But if those things are lacking, it's going to burn them better. So it's a baptism by fire, but it's not the fire external. It's the fire of the passion of the soul awakening that they speak of. Right. So that's what the ascension is. You, between lives in the physical form, you get to pick whether you can come back into the form or not. But you don't remember it right now because of the um, amnesia ritual inflicted upon the children at birth. Mm -hmm. So when it'll come back, your memories are going to start coming back. You're going to start having past life regressions where you're sitting there remembering the time when you was riding across the meadows on a, a carriage with the horses and big mama was sitting with you or something, you're going to remember. <clears throat> you know, certain things is going to trigger memories of past lives. You know, like, oh, then you're going to even remember your name, who you was. You'll be able to even look yourself up and like, oh, shit, that was me. I'm ready. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what all that means. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Jay Belong. Uh, next, uh, Morris, if you don't mind, um, we'll allow you know uh, someone who didn't come before. So, Angela, Angela, you may go, please. Peace. How are y'all? Hey, how you doing, sweetie? I'm very thankful. So, first of all, I want to say thank you for. Um, all of your works, your effort that you put forth, because I know the load is heavy. Um, I know that I've put out prayers to, to know the answer issue of the world, and then you popped up, you came forward. Um, I just want to speak to the, um, the mother aspect, because um, the work that I do, um, I'm a conscious conception coach, and so I work with mothers before, they, before conception and preparing to bring forth mm -hmm. intentionally a particular soul. And so I wanted to, um, cause you spent, you mentioned something about the uh, birthing center somewhere. Is that something yeah, that the doula is center. Work? Yes. <clears throat> that's okay. what I, when I get, when I, when we see the three Kings, that's what I want to have the sisters set up and they should already be working on it, but I'm not sure they are, but they should be. The doula center is where the women will be like what you do. You, you would be what you call a doula counselor that you would work with a doula all the way up into the birth. To, and you will be helping them from the time they decide they want to be a mother to womb. You will be referring them to this is the one that's for this part of the womb care. This is the one for when you're pregnant. And this is, so you'd be like her guy in the um, doula center. That's the type of work that what you do now would be training you to do in a doula center. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Angela. Uh, please be patient, uh, Brother Maurice. We're gonna go next with um, Galaxy Note 8. All right, you may go ahead. She on mute. She's still on mute. You gotta see no that. There you go, sweetie. You off. It's 
her sound's still not coming through. She ain't on mute no more. Yeah. You know what, bro? We're going to wait a little bit. So in the meantime, so Galaxy, we cannot hear you. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to allow the next one. And, and then we go back to her. See yeah. if she can't find out what's wrong with her phone. Yeah. So next one, OnePlus 8 5G. Whoever you are, uh, please go ahead. Oh, hello? Yes. <clears throat> oh, you can hear me. I'm so sorry. I did not realize that you were talking to me because he kept saying Galaxy Note. And I'm like, I don't have a Galaxy no, Note. That was I way. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was before me. Okay. Yeah. So, Rod, I have a question. My son is now 21 years old. When my son was, um, I want to say between seven and nine, he used to tell me that this wasn't his real world, that he was a God in another reality. And when he would go to sleep is when he would be woke in his other reality. And when he would wake up here, he would be sleep in his other reality. And he used to have a lot of vivid dreams. He would tell me stuff like, um, if I was, when my grandmother passed away, he was nine years old. Mm -hmm. He told me that if he was seven years old, if my grandmother was sick two years prior, that he would have been able to transfer some energy life to her to give her more time here on the planet. Can you explain to me what that was about? Your son is a high priest, and he's what you call a dream walker. And the dream walkers are legendary in indigenous culture. You can look them up on that. But he's a very high-ranking priest by birth. And when he came into this physical world, he rejected it outright by the energy he felt at birth. So he decided to flip the world that he would choose to live in as his primary um, realization. So he can live the life he choose in his dream world. Well, now we're trying to get to the place where he can flip that into this physical realm back to us. Because he know now, it, just like I did when I was a little boy, I knew something wasn't right, but I didn't know what it was. And I know that we wasn't supposed to live like this. And I didn't understand how it got that way until I started looking around. But I knew pretty early <clears throat> what the problem was. I just didn't know who was behind it. His birthday is November 11th. Mine, November the 10th. Oh, wow. 11-11, he, he was born initiated. Whew. He was an initiate, born initiated. Is, it, is, is the year 99 significant as well? Yeah, 99 is to the nine. That means he's governed by the nines as the sacred nine ball. And the two nines flips to two six, that means he's gonna be balanced on the mother line and the father line. That's why he was born on the four on the two the four ones, which is eleven eleven, which is the four pillars of the temple, the mother's temple. Okay. Right. So in order for him to get his birthright, he gotta honor his mother and his father without taking sides. So is that why spirit has him sitting right now? Because he's incarcerated. And I've been trying to get that specific message to him. And he's kind of stuck between worlds right now. Yeah, he's rebelling against this one mainly is why he's where he is. He is. But he's using where he's at as a monastery, buying books, asking what books he wants, sending books. That's what I've been doing. I've been sending him books. Yeah, he turned into a monastery. He's using it to his advantage. Okay. Okay. So he going to turn, he going to write his own curriculum and he going to educate himself while he's in there on that downtime so it's not wasted. He's not going to waste it. Okay. All right. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. I appreciate everything that you've been doing. I've been following you on Facebook and I, and I feel your energy so strongly. I just mm -hmm. so appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look, um, look up Edward R. Hamilton booksellers and okay. have them send him a catalog. 
and let okay. him pick his books. Okay. Okay. Edward R. Hamilton is like a discount book place where I, I bought thousands of books from there. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. So thanks to you. So, hey, uh, Morpheus, um, yep. when you click that, you know, come down, there's three individuals. There's more people in the lineup, but there was three individuals that were part of the original lineup. All right. So we there's have, three left. Uh, yeah, technically. Uh, there's Maurice. That's four. But, you know, uh, I know you already asked your questions. The other three did not. So we're going with the three that did my, not my, ask. Are you on? Brother Tino, I, yeah, just very quick. I, I, just, I just wanted to share something. But go ahead. The other, the other three can go. No problem. OK, sounds good. That's okay. good to true. That's good with you, Morpheus. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to check again with uh, whoever has the Galaxy Note 8. Please try to, yeah. That's good. You're on, yeah, you, you're on mute now, so we... We're still uh, not hearing you, sweetie. Yeah, we cannot hear you. Or if you want... Uh, you probably try to know. turn your volume up on your phone. That might help us to hear you. Mm -hmm. Crazy as it may sound. No, no. All right. So you know what? Uh, if you don't mind, uh, Morpheus, we might. If it's not too complicated, probably Galaxy Note Eight. Try to uh, write your message in the chat, and we'll read it. All right. Yeah. Try that. Mm hmm. All right, so we're going to go now with uh, Tierra J. Hello. Hey. Hello. Um, doing? I'm doing great. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. Okay, I wanted to um, ask you a question. I've heard this lady voice twice. I know it was somebody already on a live talking about a lady. But I wonder if it's the same lady. Um, like, it was one time I didn't know what to pray for. And the voice, it was a woman, and she said, pray for wholeness. She said, ask for a wholeness or pray for wholeness. And then the second time I heard her voice, I went to the crystal store and bought crystals and, um, for, like, a crystal bracelet. And I didn't have no music on in my car. I was just really thinking really hard and driving home. And I heard her voice again. She said, Egypt. But I thought the crystals was talking to me. I asked my sister, I'm like, do your crystals talk to you? She was like, no. And then, like, before I heard her voice, like I had a dream about a snake. It was a cobra and it stood up in front of me in my dream, but it scared me. But at the same time, it calmed me down. Mm -hmm. So the cobra in um, Egypt, it means wisdom itself. So mm -hmm. the, who you would have been seeing was the same as I told the other lady was the queen of heaven herself, Isis, who would have been talking to you as one of her chosen priestesses, but you might be from a different order from the other lady from earlier because she got different orders okay so, right so you got the order of bass the order of segment you got the order of uh Tawaret. those are normally the order of Tawaret. They, they they start calling them big mama in their 20s you already oh. know it's gonna be big mama and um they different totem animals for different priestesses from different aspects Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tierra. Uh, Rod, we're going to go with uh, Galaxy. I'm just going to read, actually, his or her question, right? So my question Sorry. is, oh, you're back, bro. What? Galaxy Note 8? Can you, can you, can you... Okay, so if you don't just mind, read your question and then we'll yeah, just yeah. so the question is will they stop pushing pushing right the, the vaccine once the three kings walk yeah the, so the three kings is going to directly address that vaccine shit when they speak they're going to talk about that too that's going to be a wrap for that because it's all a, a ruse 
to mislead the people and they not buying it and I ain't buying it either. I'm backing them up every step of the way with everything I know. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to go now with the last question. So uh, Carlita Perkins. Carlita Perkins, you there? So Carly, Carlita twice, Carlita. Hello. Can Hello. You hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Hi, so Rod. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I let me tell you, I am honored to speak with you. The first time I seen you was on ISIS channel, and I was like, I just need to talk to this person just to just tell me like what type of being I am, because I've been trying to like tap into myself. I've been meditating and all of that, right? I was trying to get the crystals and it's just been a run around for that, like with finances. So I'm family star working and I really want to get them because I want to tap in more to myself. Right. So mm -hmm. I am a Taurus and I'm always like a helpful person to people. And I feel like, you know, every, anytime, like I'd be scared of something, it's always something that tells me like everything is going to be all right. Mm -hmm. So that's common with the Taurus. Taurus are pretty brave people they uh face down a lot of opposition stone face so to speak so that that uh match as far as to um what um star being you might be that that is a whole q a drawing out the answer from within you so mm -hmm. we don't we don't have a time on this forum to get to that right but, like and we when I be teaching the readers in the future, I'll be teaching them how to uh, get the information. They'll watch in real time and then they'll give like how you want. But right now it's like, that's uh, like at least a half hour just to get started on. Cause I feel like I'm a person that's here to help people. Cause I'm always, I've been always helping people since, I, since, since I've been born. I always been helping people. That's probably your life script. Like man, when I was a little boy, I, my life script was, "Can I help?" My right. son' life script is, "I can do it." Okay. So he. Didn't so want are me you to only going to be on it. Instagram or for just Facebook? Or um, YouTube. Right as of right now, I'm primarily on the two Facebook and Instagram, but I've been invited on across a lot of different media, and so I'm subject to be anywhere from here. Okay, because I don't have Facebook. That's why I'm ex. <laughs> You can find me on Instagram. Okay. Okay. Cause I seen, that's where I originally seen you at. And I was just like, wow, you, it was, it was so enlightening um, to like really just tap into yourself, you know, because, you know, you brought up people like when we young, we was brought up in a church with our parents and stuff like that. And then I'm just like, I used to be going to church, but then I just was like, I stopped going because I just feel like it's fraud, you know? And I'm just like, this something ain't right. And, even with school, history was boring. So it, it made it, it all makes sense, you know, and it's crazy that you have to get this old to really figure out the truth. Yeah, well, it's, it's not so much you're figuring out the truth because the right now everybody is following the group lie. The whole group mm -hmm. is agreeing on, on following the same damn lie. I kid so, you not. And it's yeah, that's true. That's so true. And family is even hard to wake up because they just listen to the, the TV, the vaccine. And now I feel like it's like the vaccine versus the unvax. And it, it I'm just like, oh, wow. Yeah. And the main tool of um, of conquest is divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. And they use that as uh, to their advantage. They weaponized it. They really do. They really now do. we we weaponize unity and peace and see how they like that for a change. We sh we sure do need that. I sure do agree. But I am honored to speak with you and thank you so much for answering my call. <laughs> no problem. All right. Have a good so, night. Thank you, Carolita Perkins. So, uh, brother. All right. So, brother Rod, just to let you know, during the chat, I did request people to send me questions that were directed to you so i'm going to transfer to you all right so 
uh, quickly, if anyone wants to reach to you, what's the best medium? Right now, uh, Instagram, probably, and Facebook. All right. Sounds good. Because that's primarily where I'm at because I, like, I, I get a lot of information out real quick right there. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to share it uh, quickly. So on Facebook. All right. So that's Rod A. Rod A's Morpheus Mysticus. And my, yeah. And my uh, profile and background change according to signs I'm, I'm revealing. Mm -hmm. This is where we at now. Three Kings United. All right. So that's Rod A's uh, Facebook page. All right. So brother Rod, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thanks for the energy. So from a galactic warrior to another one you know what i'm saying uh it's an honor you know what i'm saying and here there's no such as egos you know what i'm saying the uh the divine essence is about you know uplifting uh the people you know what i'm saying so uh gratitude bro and thank you man and thanks to to all of the people uh was not expecting you know that uh this high number of people so uh just to let you know man you're if you know you're not getting it getting it uh like you should do just like just to let you know that your work bro is uh remarkable you know what i'm saying yes sir i appreciate that you know it's a lot of hard work and i see why it wasn't easy to find somebody willing to do it mm -hmm. you know because yeah. i didn't understand the magnitude of the task i was taking I Keep going, bro. Yeah, I didn't understand the magnitude of the task, but now that I did it, I've done it, it's over with. You know, we, we can look for these three kings next. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's right. So uh, to the people, um, whoever, you know, asked your question in the chat or you came up, you know, with the audio and all the ones that were listening again. So thank you very much, you know, for your presence and energy. Uh, thanks to you, you know, things... Um, we made it happen. All right. So I'm going to put, you know, several episodes on the full shows on the Galactic Talk. All right. So the YouTube channel. All right. So there you go. Session 27 with Morpheus, Mysticus, Magus, Dr. Rod, a.k.a. The, the Ancient Shaman, Rod A. So, bro, man, thank you. You know, I'll, I'll never, uh, you know, I'll, they how can I say, though, man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, looking at it from a galactic perspective, bro, uh, it's an honor. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, yeah, sir. I appreciate y'all yeah. having me on there. Anytime, hey, somebody bro. wanted me to ask for my cash app. I'm going to put it in here. But I don't I don't ask for money. But when they yeah. ask me for it, I got to give it to them. All right. So for the one that would like to send you donations, could you please uh, tell what's your cash app? There you go. It's in the it's in the comments. Okay, I'm not seeing it, but um... it's not there. Hold on. I look like it's giving it to somebody in the direct comment. Hold on, let me find out. You hit the everyone button. Where? Okay, let me see if I can find that. Who can see the message? And Denise, uh, we don't know each other probably physically, but um, you know, I just wanted to to, to thank you because uh, no you've problem. Been, you've been bringing My assistance. Yeah. My pleasure. <laughs> That's yeah. I, I'm trying to get into the chat, but it keep putting me under somebody. Okay, somebody got it. Mr. Hayes. I just put it in there. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> thank you, Denise. So no problem. Sick eight, that's what it is. All right, so cash shine sick s i k a p e. So then again, session 27. So, peace to all of you, the people, peace to Rod. And you know, what I'm saying, message that I had as well, you know, coming from different beings on different densities, you know, just like Rod mentioned as well, do not consent with fear, you know, what I'm saying, and your birthright, you know, look, look at it and. You know, whatever, what's your earth mission, embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Without fear. So, Rod, I'll give you the last word, bro. 
So um, the last word is about to cry of all of the United Nations of us, free leg Hoover. Three kings walking on the land, crooked man walking. And we're going to crip, crip, crip up out this more from here. <laughs> right on. All right. So with Morpheus, Mysticus, Magus. Thank you, bro. Thank you, people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.